Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a go at making a tractor Ted cake as requested by my godson and I've just got a Victoria sponge and I've baked mine so it's 4 inches by 8 inches and I have added a little bit of sugar syrup onto there I've done those 3 times so I'm adding a little bit of buttercream to my board to stick that in place and the reason the cake doesn't look very soft is it's been in the freezer otherwise it tends to crumble a little bit when I cut into it so I'm going to put buttercream between each of my layers. I'll just keep adding so I've got all three layers on. So each of my layers is about an inch or so high. So I've just trimmed a small amount off each end where my cake's been in the oven a while and just dried a little bit so we're going to take that off. So four inches along I'm going to cut down. I'm not cutting all the way down to the bottom. I'm going about an inch down into it. And from the back, so the larger side, I'm going to cut across to meet that cut that I've just put in. Just be careful of your fingers. So you can see on mine where the sugar syrup's gone in a little bit deeper there. You can also see it's still a little bit frozen in the middle. Okay and then I'm just cutting off a small piece of the side that doesn't quite go to the bottom. So if I show you this from the side you can see the bottom piece of cake is still the same width it was to start with. Do that both sides. Then at the front we're going to cut that at an angle. So can you see it's wider at the top and it narrows down at the bottom. Again we're leaving that bottom cake the same thickness. And now what we're going to do next is just completely cover our little cake shape in chocolate ganache. I'm using a white chocolate ganache. You can use buttercream if you prefer. Just sets a little bit firmer for me when I'm working on it. So my tractor colour itself, I've just used a bit of the foliage green and some jade mixed in. Make sure you roll out large enough that it's going to fully cover our shape that we've got. I'm going to put that over there. Just be careful it doesn't tear on the corners anywhere. Give it a gentle rub down. Just try and push it in around those edges. And see I'm covered in food colouring. And I'm just using my smoother to try and push it down in place a little bit more. Smoothing it off. Just pushing it into sort of the edges and the corners. Now go reasonably gentle with it, don't press too hard that we tear through the fondant anywhere. And then I'm going to cut that off all the way around the bottom. Take a second smoother and then we'll hold them either side to try and shape him the best we can. And I'm just going to put some eye holes in. I'm just using the bottom end of one of my paintbrushes because it's quite thick. And just a little round ball of green for a nose. It's got quite a basic face as this one. Drawing a little smile will open that up a little bit. So you can see what one of his eyes is going to look like. So we do this by putting in a round ball of white fondant. Squish it down a little bit. A smaller ball of black fondant. Again, press that down in place so it flattens. And then a smaller one again in white. Like that. So now I want a little cake board that's a similar-ish size to the back of my tractor. And this is going to be like the roof bit. So this bit's not really edible. I've got my plastic cake dowels that we're going to push in on each corner or each back corner of our tractor. Try and keep them as upright as you can. Just check that still fits on there. And taking the green I've got left over, I've rolled it nice and thin and we're going to wrap it around each of the pillars. So wrap it around, trim up the side with your knife, give it a little push on in place, try and rub out that seam if you can. I'm just going to tear that off the top and flatten it down a little bit. So do that on all of them. And then for the roof of the tractor, I've just got some white. And we're just going to roll that out a little bit. Just make sure it's big enough that it's going to cover this piece of card. And I'm just cutting around so it's slightly bigger than my piece of card. Just by a little bit. And I'm just going to smooth out those edges slightly with my fingers. And then we'll lay that onto our little square cake card. If it feels like it's going to move out of place, then just add a little bit of water to keep it on. And that will balance onto our pillars there. If you want to make sure it's nice and secure, just add a small amount of royal icing to the top of each of your pillars and then put the roof on. Then we're going to cover the board itself and we're just going to use coconut to make it look like grass. And all I've done is put some coconut in a little food bag and I've just added some green food colouring. So I've got my food pastes, but I've had to mix them with a little bit of water to make them a little bit runnier for the coconut. So mix that in there. I've done a few different colours of green for this. So I'll pour a little bit in there, seal up my little food bag, give it a shake around. 
till it's fully covered so I'll add that one in with my other green so can you see I'm going to keep doing some different greens and then we'll mix them all together so they look different when they're all mixed in so do it with as many different shades of green as you like and you can cover the board now in buttercream or the chocolate ganache that you've got that was already made or I happen to have some dark chocolate ganache made up which I thought looked a bit muddy and a bit like soil so I'm going to cover my board in this only do a small bit at a time because if you do the whole board it will dry and set before you've had a chance to put your coconut on and then it won't stick in place move on to the next bit keep going so keep going until you're all the way around and covered so my grass looks a little bit straw like as well because I haven't gone for a bright green grass I didn't want it too bright because I want it to be different to the colour of the tractor and I've just got some little marshmallows you can use bigger ones I just happen to have mini ones in we're going to melt these down and make some rice krispie treats out of them so it's just marshmallows and rice krispies I'll put the recipe to this below in the description box it's a bit sticky when it first comes out and I've greased a tray and I'm just going to push mine into my little tray or glass dish give it a good firm push down everywhere then once that's in there we're going to let it set so you can put it in the fridge or you can leave it out for a while to set. I'm going to put one in the fridge. Once it feels like it's firmed up a little bit, we'll take that out. So it's come out quite easy because I had a piece of greaseproof paper inside there. And I'm going to use some circle cutters to mark on the size of my wheels. And this is where I realised I should have used a bigger tray. So I'll use the straight edge of this cutter. I'm not going to get it all the way through. I'm just going to push it in enough to leave a bit of a mark and then I can cut it out properly with a knife. So I'm going to cut around this now with a knife. It's a bit of a sticky job. Keep going all the way around. Get them as round as you can. And we're going to need two of each size. So two of the smaller ones and two of the larger ones. Now one of them was just slightly too small. So I've just got a slight corner missing. So we'll bulk that back out with chocolate ganache and icing. And I'm just going to cover each of them in a thin layer of chocolate ganache. I've got a dark chocolate one on the go now. But you can use whichever you like. So you might want milk or white chocolate. Put those in the fridge. Let them set. Then I'm going to give them a second coating. Once set, we can cover them in fondant. So I've just got black fondant. I've got mine ready dyed here. And we're going to push that over and around our tyre. Pushing it over at the back. And make sure you haven't got grass coconut on your board because it will stick in your fondant like it has on mine. So we'll use our smoothers to just smooth that off and try and get a nice round shape. Just using a round cutter now to cut out a piece in the middle. Just pop that out with our knife. I've got a bit more green. I'm going to cut out that same circle that we've just removed, but in green this time. Just smooth that in until it fills the gap. And then I'm just going to create a smaller black one just with my fingers. Push that in the middle. And then we're going to stick this in place. I've just, again, used a bit of chocolate ganache to push that onto there. And then once that ganache is set, that will stick nicely in place. Like that. And we're going to do exactly the same with the other tyres now. On your smaller wheels, use a smaller cutter. I'm going to try putting the ganache on the bottom of this wheel because I haven't got as much on the side to be able to attach it with. So we're going to go for underneath. Okay, so that's those on. All four on. I'm going to make a steering wheel. So I've got my black fondant. Start with a little ball. We'll have a little sausage ship that's going to go up in a V. And then another sausage ship that's coming down into like a part circle. And we, the whole thing's not going to be seen, so we'll trim some of that off. And we're just going to push that just onto the edge of the back of the front piece of the tractor. So on there, then he just wants these little exhaust pipes. Put his little pipes at the front. Now you can do it completely in fondant if you like. But I've just added another cake dowel that I'm going to cover in grey. And then I will let my godson know that he just needs to remove these cake dowels before eating the cake. So we're covering it in the same way we did with the green ones earlier. Then I want a thinner strip of grey and we're going to wrap that around part way up. We'll wrap that around there like that. And now it just needs a number plate. So I've got a bit of white. If the white's a bit soft, add a bit of Tylos or you can use some modelling paste instead. Roll it nice and thin and we're going to cut out a little rectangle. I'm going to stick it to his front bumper using a little bit of water. And then a thin paintbrush and a bit of black food colouring we're just going to try and paint Ted and the number one I'm just going to paint around the edge like that so that's him finished and you can add a bit of ribbon around the board to neaten it up if you like I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching 
If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.